so hello hello everyone uh, in today class i'll do sales and marketing analytics it is the demonstration one for the part b now in order to work on sales and marketing analytics the the workbook what we are going to use is car sales so if you go to the material which i have sent you there is a excel workbook called car dot sales you can simply open this workbook car sales so it's by the name car sales you can see here this is a workbook which i am going to work on press control t make this is in table format so once you have data in the table format then we are good to go if you do not convert this into table format and other things also then also it's fine but probably if you are working on excel it is always good if you see and understand what all you need to do fine so i'll just save this control s i'll just close this fine now i'll go to my tab view okay so i'll go to my tab view okay i'll go to the sheet okay where which sheet i want to install the tab view okay or let me go to the completely blank tab view because i need to put the data source here so the data source what we are using is car sales so just click on microsoft excel and go to the location where your file is there so my file is there under tab view so under tab view if you see there is no excel workbook called car sales that means car sales is not excel workbook it may be csv workbook so go click on text file and again i'll go to downloads so all my tab view document is there under download and now i can see car sales so just click on car sales so it is a csv file so that's why it will come under text files if it would have been excel file then it you would have simply connected with the data source of microsoft excel now once you are done now go to the sheet 1 go to the sheet 1 you can give a name for this sales and marketing analytics you can give a name for this sales and marketing analytics now once you are done now if you want you can do formatting of this what i want i want a kind of column graph of comparing the the sales done by manufacturer so i'll just drag manufacturer where is manufacturer i drag the manufacturer over column i'll drag the manufacturer you simply drag the manufacturer over column once this is done then next thing what i want i want this column graph of manufacturer with respect to dimension the dimension what i'm looking for is sales so just put the sales under row the moment you put the sales under row you can see all different name of manufacturer audi bmw the all different names of manufacturer the sales made by them it will come here if you want the numerical value of that simply drag the sales under levels you will find the same thing here clear everyone now once you are done with this what you can do okay so uh, as per the requirement what we have we are comparing uh, the dimension here manufacturer with respect to their sales what they made in thousands okay and here i am making comparison on the basis of models so put model under color if you put and models under color you can see different models you can see different model these are the model names and you can see their values here you can if you want you can remove show me you can see this models here okay and then uh, the another parameter what we are using here is curve weight so just drag the curve weight here under row so you can find curve weight now but now i got a two bar graph of different manufacturer uh, where i got one in the term of sales another in the term of curve weight so curve weight and sales i want together so just click on the downward arrow of curve weight and click on dual axis okay now you got everything in, in scatter plot nothing to worry 
just go to the sales and some downward arrow click on bar for this so now you can see the sales okay sales made by manufacturer in the bar form while the the curve weight with respect to manufacturer in the form of scatter plot this is what the requirement was there for us so this is what you need to do whenever you are working on sales and marketing analytics anyone any doubt any question please ask me so i hope you understood this thank you everyone